Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to our Wednesday meeting each and every week. Today is the 17th of February. Welcome to all of our members from uh, throughout the United States and Canada. And if we have members today, I'm sure we do from England and possibly Australia. Welcome. Uh, these meetings take place every single week and they're all the way through June the 30th of 2021, same time, sure. same place. So please join us each week. Uh, the classes are rolling along and uh, the signups have been uh, better than any other year in the past and we're very happy with the response to them. Uh, don't forget um, on the 27th of February, Maryland will be back with Apple Watch OS 7. And uh, try to attend that meeting. Even if you don't have a watch, you should know about all the uh, health issues and oper you know things that it can do for you today. It is really a critical uh, piece of the Apple world. Um, the class this Saturday is, is um, the photo class by Dan Wazink. And uh, you're not signed up already for that class. Sign up for it now for Saturday. Here's a list of the classes. Don't forget we changed the Zoom class that was supposed to be the first class to March the 20th. And Dan will also be uh, teaching the Zoom class. Because of the terrific response we got to our classes, uh, we decided to throw in what we call the bonus class. Uh, so we'll have a free bonus class, a two and a half hour regular class on March the 27th. With that class, you'll get a free take control book. Uh, and of course, your normal free video of the class. And it's for uh, Naples Mac, Naples Mug members only. Uh, the uh, subject will be managing your files. And it's something we all need to do and learn and understand. And it'll be by Jeff Carlson, who's been with us before and was very much uh, liked at his previous meeting. All you have to do is send a note or an email to uh, Eckert and in the subject uh, area type bonus class. Uh, mentioning Eckert, um, He's the guy behind the scenes that makes this uh, Zoom class come on on schedule. Um, he and Sheeta go through uh, a time beforehand, the day before, or two days before with the uh, with either the um, speaker or the instructor for the classes. And it's a very involved process, uh, Zoom, and it works well for us. And uh, the quality of the video and the quality of the audio uh, are outstanding. Um, next week's meeting is our famous Alan Weinstein all the way from um, DC, the District of Columbia. Um, Alan, besides uh, wearing many hats over his lifetime, is now an amateur photographer and he's going to review uh, the strategy behind taking bus and reflection images. He's a great photographer and um, he's got a lot of experience in that area and I'm sure it'll be an exciting meeting when he shares some of that with us. Today's meeting is Christian Boyce. Chris is a, a great friend of Naples Mug. He's been with us I think three other times I'm hoping that uh, next year, uh, Chris will partake in uh, teaching a couple classes. And uh, we welcome you, Chris. And um, thank you for doing this. And I hope everybody's got their uh, iPhone and has it upgraded to 14.4. Is that correct? That'd be right. That'd be perfect. Right. Okay, Christian, it's all yours. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, George. Um, <clears throat> first of all, <clears throat> it's really great to be here. Um, been looking, I've been looking forward to this for 
know, a month or two. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So our topic today is is um, widgets in iOS 14. So we're going to cover what they are and how to how to install them and how to use them and and how to do some special things with them. Um, before we start, I'll just say this. Uh, I've been using iPhones since 2007. I got one the second day they came out and I've been a, a Mac consultant since 1988, uh, full-time since 1991. And uh, I guess this is what I'm gonna do. It's been 30 something years. So I think I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, so what I wanna do is first talk about widgets. I'm gonna show you my screen. I'm gonna show you a phone with widgets on it. We'll talk about widgets and then I'm going to wipe it out and we're going to rebuild it. So I like to do things live <clears throat> because, uh, you know, PowerPoint is great and Keynote's better, but, um, but doing it live, there's a certain excitement about it. So, so we'll do it like that. So uh, here comes, here comes my iPhone, my iPhone screen. This is my iPhone 10s. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is gonna work on any iPhone that's got iOS 14 on it. If you have um, if you have an iPhone with a home button on it, it's gonna be a little bit different, but just barely. So I'll try to point that out as we go. Okay, so this is this is meant to be a hands-on class. I hope you've got your phone and um, we'll, you know, I'll go slowly enough that we can, you know, we can do this together. So this is this is what my iPhone looks like. These are these big things are widgets. Now, if I go over here, this is kind of what everybody's iPhone used to look like. It's what mine used to look like. But here I've got widgets. So each one of those big squares is a widget. And the, even the thing at the top with the big time, that's a widget. And so you used to have widgets if you you know, when, you, when you're swiping through the, the screens like this, you could go to the first screen and then you go one more. And these were widgets. So Apple's had these widgets in iOS 13 and I think maybe even in 12, but you had to go past the, the first home screen to, to get there. The problem with that is that it always took an extra move to get there. Whereas with the way things are now, they're right there on the first screen right when you turn this, the phone on. So if my phone went dark, um, well, I'll make it dark. Let's see if it, if it stays connected. So here it's dark, here it's, yes, right away, there's the stuff. So what do we get out of a widget? Well, the advantage is you get information at a glance. So if we look, um, let me just put this here, just a minute, a little rearranging, okay. Just a second, get my tools and gear here. All right, so if we if we look at say this this calendar widget here, you, you can tell it's a calendar. First of all, it looks like a calendar, but it also says calendar down across the bottom here. So, so widgets always have the name of what they are. You can see in this in this um, calendar that I my my meeting with you all is right there in front of me. I don't have to go to my calendar to see about it. So the, the same with same with my my temperature here. I can see that in Santa Monica, which is where I am, it's 56 degrees and it's sunny. Well, this this is not information that's hard to come by because normally what you do is you would just tap the weather with the weather app and you'd see. But see, I don't have to tap. So up, up at the top right, I have my to-do list. I use an app called Things and the list is right in front of me so I can see what I need to do. So that's the, the advantage of the widgets is that the stuff is right in front of you. And this, this one down here, this is just a, it's just fun for me to see a photo float up that I've forgotten about and uh, the phone kind of picks one for you. And so I see a, I see a photo, so that's nice too. Just a little decoration. And of course, my favorite part is that I can actually see the time 
up here. So even though even though the time is is up there in the top left corner, it's a lot easier to see it when it's big and green like that. So so this is what you get with widgets. So of course a widget takes up space, but you'll notice if I if I want to get to um, my calendar, if I tap this calendar widget here, it takes me to the calendar. I hope is it is it did it change for you? Did you see my calendar change, anybody? No, it did not change. Okay, then that's because I when I turned it off, I I lost my screen here, but we got it. We did it back. Our screen mirroring went south. Okay. So was, there was a lot of very pretty boxes I was drawing there, and you didn't see them. We see the boxes, okay, and we still see point. we st we yeah, we still see the blue box around the calendar widget. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna um, make that better. Just a sec. I've got to I've got to share this. I have to I have to share it again. Okay. What a drag. Well, you know, this is what you get when you go live, but it's, it's still better. Sure. Okay, now we're back. Good. Right? We're seeing me again? Okay. Uh, we're seeing your calendar, yes. Okay, so when so the point is that these widgets, these widgets actually stand in for the real the icons for the app. So if I if I tap this, um, if I tap the uh, the calendar widgets there, it will take me to the calendar. So I can, I can use that as sort of a shortcut to get to the real, to get to the real calendar. So every widget is a trigger to go to to something like this. The weather one, if I touch it, if I were to touch this weather widget down here, it's just like touching the weather icon. But the advantage is, again, that I can see the information in advance of actually tapping it. I just see it. So this means that when my when I pick my phone up and it, it wakes up, I just look and I, I have info and that's um, that's rather nice. So let's see about making widgets. So I'm gonna um, I'm going to wipe out these widgets and go back to sort of normal like like uh, things were off the bat. So if you have widgets on your screen, I'll show you how to how to remove them right now. You you, you touch them, you hold them and you remove. All right. So that was a special widget called a stack. I'm just going to remove all of these. And see, this is this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm messing up my own phone for you. Okay, this is this is a commitment. Okay, because I know I can do it. I know I can put it back. And we're going to um, we're going to remove this widget. And remove this widget. And I'm going to remove this this widget. This is actually a widget. Okay, so now here I am. Now I've done it. So now we need to, um, let's start adding some widgets. So how do we do this? Ho hopefully you see that the value of the widget is that information is there at a glance. You don't have to tap anything and everything's big. So, um, you know, that's the way I like it. I was a little late to widgets, um, but once I sort of discovered how they work, I got really excited about them. So here's how you, how you do it to add a widget. You've got to put your finger somewhere um, on the screen and make the make the phone kind of wiggle. So I'm gonna put my phone in my finger in the black down here at the bottom, and things are wiggling, and that's normal. Okay, and you'll see if you do this, you should see at the top a plus like this. If you don't see that plus over there. If you're using a phone with a uh, home button, you might see the plus on the top right. It's the same plus. Let's hit the plus. So I'm gonna hit the plus. So remember, widgets are built into the system, and Apple's trying to provide some some widgets right off the bat to help you get started. Well, I like this weather widget, so I'm gonna add this weather widget. You see down here at the bottom, uh, here's here's uh, weather. But and these are just suggestions. These, this first group of things is suggestions by Apple. But if you go past that, now you see a big alphabetical list of, of things where you could um, that, that, that support widgets. So when you when you when you choose a widget, really the widget widgets always belong to an app. They always started with an app. You don't you don't go to the app store and start looking for widgets. They, they're built into apps. So there's a, there's a widget built into the weather app. If I tap where it says weather, 
they show me there are three sizes of widgets. And this is, this is across all widgets. You either get a small one, a medium one, or a large one. So the small one takes up the room of four icons on your home screen. And for me, that's perfect. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna tap where it says add widget down here at the bottom. And when I do, we have our first widget. Now, if, I, if I'm done, I can tap where it says done at the top right, or I can just tap somewhere else on the screen and that will make it stop wiggling. Or I can swipe up, or if I've got a home button, I can click the home button. So I'm gonna tap done at the top right because that feels very secure. Okay, so here's my weather widget. So now, even though I can see the weather icon there, I don't need to touch the weather icon to find out about the weather. I can see what the weather is already. It's the same weather. If I touch, if I if I tapped on the, the weather icon here, I can see the weather. And here's Santa Monica weather. But that was a little bit of work to get there when I can just see it right in front of me, just like this. So that's uh, it's updating, it's live. It's great. So <clears throat> I'm going to add uh, a calendar widget now, and we'll see. Um, we'll start to reconstruct my phone. All right. So again, what we do is we put our finger where there's where there's nothing. We make the phone wiggle, and we touch the plus. So up at the top, either the top left corner on a fairly new phone or the top right corner on a uh, older phone with a knife with a uh, home button. So I want a calendar widget. And it's tempting to grab the one that they're showing me here, this one that says smart stack, but we don't know what a smart stack is yet. So we're not gonna do that. We're going to scroll down here and I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm not gonna pick this big calendar because it's too big for me. This is, this looks nice. Um, it's gonna show me my next appointment, but I really wanna see, uh, I, wanna, I want a smaller one. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down until I see the big list. Okay, here's here's calendar. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click here on calendar, tap here on calendar, and we're gonna get um, the different sizes. So I don't need a great big one. I'm, again, I'm gonna take a small one. Now you might notice that the the button down here, if you were really paying attention, you remember the button was blue when we were doing the weather widget. Now it's red. That button, for some reason, changes color to match the icon of the app you're working with. So it's a little it's a little color coordinated thing, but it, to me, it kind of throws people off because they're, it, it, there's really no value in it changing. You already know what you're doing, but ah, just be prepared. It's gonna change color. So I'm gonna add widget. So now I'm gonna have a calendar widget too. Okay, so now I've got two widgets. And again, I'll tap done. And just to remind you, I can, tap the calendar widget up at the top and it pops open. And I can tap the weather widget and it pops open. And this is the exact same weather app that I would have had had I tapped the weather app icon itself. But see, now I don't need to have the weather, the weather icon, I can get rid of that. And I can also get rid of this because I've got a way to trigger them. So you don't have to have both if I, so I'm going to, delete them both, I'm gonna say uh, remove app. And when I do, I just wanna remove it from the home screen. I don't wanna really delete it. I just wanna remove it from the home screen so I don't see it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the weather app here. So we'll just touch this and hold it. And I'm gonna uh, remove that app and do what they say again. I'm going to uh, remove from home screen. Okay, so we still have the app, but we just have, don't have to look at it. Okay, well, so, so far, um, we've made two widgets. We can switch their places if I want. I'm gonna put my finger on the calendar here and I'm gonna go down to where it says edit home screen. And now everything's wiggling again. I can just move this over like this so I can switch places. So you know, back and forth we go. All right, any questions? Sheeta, you got any questions for us yet? Carl, do you have a question? Yes, I my widgets look the same as yours, except they're not labeled like calendar or weather. Why? Why is that? 
Well, that's interesting. It's, it's supposedly it's uh, it's required that they show their names underneath. That's um, an Apple part of the Apple specification for widgets. So I don't know how you did it. That's that's something a lot of people would like to know how to do. Uh oh, Carl. Carl, what model phone do you have? Uh, Ten. Okay. I'll be darned. Well, that's um, that's something because uh, I'm going to show you later that there's a widget where we really like to take the name off, but we can't. But it sounds like you found the magic, uh, the magic trick. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a, um, a a second weather widget because you see what I have here. I've got the, the widget that we have now is is local. It's my local weather. If I touch the widget, let's let's do this. If you've got a weather widget up, if you touch it and you hold it, what you get is, of course, a chance to um, remove it. But it's this first option here that's interesting for us, the edit widget. So if we edit the widget, um, oops, just a minute, I lost my screen. Do you, my screen's still there? Yes, your screen is still there. <laughs> OK, it is for you. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so if we edit the widget, which is what we'll do, um, here it's a little bit hard to see. This is not not perfect, but here we we have a chance to change where it's reporting weather um, from for which location. So I'm going to tap where it says my location to do that too. Now this list, this list is the same list that we have in the quote unquote real weather widget. So. If you're wondering why you don't have the same list as I do, it's because it's, you know, you, you have your own list. And uh, I'm going to pick, I want to see the weather in Davis. That's where my mom is, where I grew up. And so now, now I see Davis. But, you know, come to think of it, it'd be interesting to know what's the weather here, too. So how do we do this? Well, what we do is we add another widget. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a second weather widget. So we're wiggling again. We'll go to the plus. We'll scroll down to weather. And I'll pick another small one here. I'll, I'll tap add. So now I have two. Well, OK, it's starting to get crowded. But um, and actually, I even want I want three. So I'm going to add one more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the plus again. And this time, I'm going to add a weather widget. Another weather widget, but this one I'm going to adjust. So I'm going to I'm going to tap it and hold it till I get. Uh, oh well, I have to say. Let me say done first. We're done now. I'm going to tap and hold on one of these. I'm going to edit the widget. So this one I'm going to have be uh, Round Rock, Texas, where it's snowing. So I've got that one. I've got the Santa Monica one, and I got the Davis one. Technically, this the one that says Santa Monica up here in the top corner is not really Santa Monica, what it is, if I touch it and hold it and I edit the widget, it's actually where I currently am. That's, and, and that is where I am. But if I were to uh, go to Los Angeles, it's gonna show me Los Angeles weather. I'm gonna make this one be Santa Monica. So now, now that's guaranteed to always be Santa Monica. And by the way, one other thing is a little tricky here. When you get in this weather, uh, edit the widget section, there's no close box in this, but if you look really closely, you can see that this is sort of a box. And there's, there's a little tiny writing across the bottom saying that the information comes from the Weather Channel. And, and as it turns out, when you're done editing a widget, you've got to touch somewhere to tell them you're done. And so you can touch either above that blue square that I drew or below it, anywhere to get out of it. Okay, so, so I'm going to tap above it. And now we're back to, to uh, our home screen. So, so I have these three weather widgets starting to get a little crowded. I'm not that nutty for weather. So what I want to do is I want to combine them. And the way we combine them is we stack them in something called a stack. Huh. OK, so how do we do this? Well, we're going to put our finger on one of them and things start to wiggle again. I can, I can actually just let go. Um, Oh, did I delete it? Uh oh, I think I deleted it. Sorry, my that's like a little sloppy there. I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add another one. I'll get my uh, 
I'll get my weather act together here. See, stuff happens. It's all right, but it's but it's free. So Santa Monica, Round Rock, we're gonna make we make it Davis. So I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna edit it. Okay, touch Davis. Okay, so now we know how things are going for mom. Okay, so we're gonna put our finger on one. We're gonna edit the home screen here. I got a fat finger there. I, I hit the wrong thing. When they're wiggling like this, we can stack them. So I'm gonna take the round rock one. I'm just gonna drag it over. And you see a little bit of outline around that one that says Davis at the top left. So now they're stacked. I'm gonna grab Santa Monica and drag that over here like this. And I'm gonna put the, the calendar over here because that's the way I like it. Now I'm done. Now, if you look really sharp to the right of my Santa Monica weather widget, when I when I am touching it, do you see there's little there's little white dots, and this is these are similar to the dots that you see across the bottom of the screen to remind you of extra pages of, of home screen. So when you what you can do is scroll through these these weather widgets. By, by putting your finger on it and pulling down. So I'm just gonna pull down and you see I'm, I'm changing to whichever one I wanna see. And when, while you're doing this, you see the dots on the right, but when you aren't touching it, you don't see that. So it's easy to forget that a stack actually is a stack because there's no, there's no indication on the right-hand side here that that, that has more than one uh, widget in it. But, um, hopefully you can remember, and you know. So there you go. So I so this that's a stack. That's a so I stacked my widgets, which is kind of cool. Okay, now there's no reason that, that I couldn't also have my calendar in that stack as well. That's perfectly allowed. So just if I wanted to, I could I could go to edit home screen here, and I could grab this, and I could plop that in there. There's no reason why they have to be the same kind of widget. They just have to be the same size. Okay, so that's a that's a stack. Now, when you have um, other kinds of stacks, you might want you might want to see a certain uh, you might you might want to see things in a certain order. Well, let's look at let's even look at the weather. I'm going to touch the weather one. I'm going to now you see a new option. We used to have three options. Now we have four. We have edit stack. So I'm going to edit the stack. Okay, so when we do this, <clears throat> we can rearrange the order of things. And this is a little bit difficult because um, you can't tell which one is Santa Monica, which one's Davis, and which one's Round Rock. But you can still grab them and move them around. You can kind of, if, if, you, if you try it, and then you close up this box, you can see, okay, that's, so Davis is the top one. You see it's got the, the reason I can tell it's the top one is you see the little dot on the right so that's, um, as I move this, you see there's the, Davis is the top one. Uh, the second one is, let's see, who's this? Round Rock's the last one. Uh, Santa Monica's, who's number two? Davis is the second one. Okay, so now I know. So you, you can rearrange the order, but with weather, it's quite difficult. If, if what I did instead was I added the calendar to it. So I'm gonna, um, I'll do edit home screen. I'll put the calendar in it. So I've got one widget. If I if I touch this and I go to edit the stack, okay, let's edit the stack. I can put the calendar at the top so that the calendar is generally there. Okay, and one more option here, the smart rotate. So what smart rotate does is it tries to figure out which one of these widgets you wanna see when. So they may they may figure out that every morning I look at my calendar. If every morning I look at my calendar first thing, that in in a matter of a day or two um, of me doing the same thing every day, Apple will show me the calendar every morning in this stack instead of making me scroll through. So that's what a smart stack's about. It turns out that it, um, they're fairly smart. If you are, are a very regular person, if the first thing you do in the morning is you check your calendar and after that, you check your to-do list, they would rotate those in. Um, but it turns out there's another way to do it where you don't count on the, the phone being smart. You can just do what you want when you want. So um, 
I'm gonna show you that too. So now I've made this, I've made one stack here. This is a nice stack. It's got four things in it. The problem is that I really liked it separate because I want to be able to see that information without scrolling. Otherwise I'm taking away the part of the point of having a stack or having a widget. So if I go here, what I can't do is I can't pull the calendar widget out of that. Okay, so just be, be aware. Uh, it's not a perfect world. If you make if you make a stack like this and then you change your mind, all you can do is I can go here and edit the stack. So I'm gonna touch it, edit stack. I'm gonna take calendar out of it. To get the calendar out of it, I'm gonna swipe on the calendar to the left here. I've got to, I've got to pull it over here and I can delete it. It's sort of the normal swipe and delete maneuver. Okay, so that's, um, so now the good news is I have my, uh, just the weather widgets here together, but the bad news, I got to add the calendar again, which I'm going to do. So this is good review. We'll touch where there's nothing. We hit the plus. I scroll down to calendar and I take this calendar widget and there it is. Okay, so, so I'm back to normal, but just be aware if you think it's going to be really fun to stack them all into one giant stack, um, there's no way to break up the stack. You get, all you can do is delete things and sort of start over. And it's not that great an idea to, to stack too many things because really the point of this is to have information at a glance and it's not at a glance if you have to scroll. Okay, so. Christian? Um, yes, we, we do have a We do have a question on stacks. Awesome. <laughs> Mitch, can you unmute yourself and ask your question? Uh, yes. Uh... It's more of a real irritation. I want to know if you ever heard anything about it. But one of the fine things I find very irritating on stacks is it does not tell you it's a stack unless you hover over it and you see those dots on the side. And I just think that's uh, why it doesn't show it's a stack. I don't know. And the second thing I do have a question about, and that is on adding widgets. It seems like some of my apps are on that list and others are not. Is that just the function of the... Uh, of what Apple will accept, or is that a function of the developer not doing what's necessary to get in that list? Okay, great questions. They, that to answer the second question first, yes, the the application has to be um, uh, updated to include a widget. So that's up to the the developer. So most of the Apple ones, many of the Apple ones do, but for example, um, I don't think um, not all of them do. I don't think there's a camera widget. I don't think there's a messages or a mail widget. So there's, um, it has to be rewritten. So the ones in the list is that's what you get. So if you if you have a third party app that you like a lot, um, and you hope there's a widget for it, you'll know, make sure you stay up to date. So if the developer makes one, you'll, you'll have it. Yeah, you don't get a widget without an app, the app has to be there first. Now, as far as the stack thing, I agree. If we look at my Santa Monica weather widget here, you you don't see anything in this blue box, which indi to indicate that there are more than one uh, weather widget here until I start pulling down. When I start pulling down, I can see that there are some, but that's at that point, I already know it's a stack, but then you see it shortly disappears. So I think that's a shortcoming too. It's just, and that one is just the way it is. I, I imagine that'll get fixed because I don't think anyone likes that. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So let's let's do um, so that was so we saw smart rotate, which was if I look at the, the weather here and I edit the stack, smart rotating is different than a smart stack. Okay, a smart stack is a stack that um, that figures out what to show you without you even doing any work at all. So I'll, I'll do a smart stack and you'll see. Um, so I'm, I'm going to add another widget. And if we go, whoops, I, I missed. If, um, if you look, I'll find a, my smart stack here. Here, OK, so smart stack is right, right here. I had to scroll a ways. If I do this one, you get, um, you would not get a picture of me and my girlfriend, but you would get a picture maybe of your own. And you can see what they say. What they say here is it automatically rotates widgets to show most relevant information. 
And of course, you can scroll through them. You can see this one is showing you that there's going to be multiple pages here. Um, <clears throat> you also can see that they can do this in different sizes. So um, let's just let's just take one and see what happens. See what they don't tell you here is which widgets are going to be in this stack. I know one of them is going to be a photo. Well, let's do that. So that's a good start. All right, so now I'm going to click done. Let's see what's in this widget. So I'm going to scroll through here. I've got uh, a shortcut. All right, I've got my to-do list. I got the date. That's nice. I got the time. That's nice. I got uh, a little bit of music. That's nice. And I got a, a map. I mean, this is kind of like, uh, I feel like I just went trick or treating and I open up my bag and see what I got. So <clears throat> um, if you, if you kind of want to be surprised, if you like that sort of thing, then a, then a, um, a smart stack is, is just the thing for you. Uh, for me, since that's not part of what we were working on today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove this stack. And we're going to continue to add things to make this look like my phone used to look. OK, so um, we know how to move things around. We know how to move. We know how to uh, stack them. We can change their order. Can really be anywhere too. I, I've put these at the top, but let's show you if I touch and we say edit home screen, I could put this down here, put it anywhere you want. It's, it's totally up to you. When you make a new widget, it always goes in the top left corner. So that's uh, just something to know. That's where it's going to go. And another thing about widgets, which you may have noticed, is it's a great way to mess up your home screen. If you've, um, if you have your home screen perfectly set up and now you start adding widgets, it's not going to be perfectly set up anymore. It's going to, you're going to have to do some adjusting after that. If you want to practice, you might practice on another home screen because you can add a widget to any home screen. So if I add one here, it's, um, it's not messing up my first home screen. Usually the first home screen is the one we care about the most. So, so that clock didn't show up here at, at, at the beginning. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's do. Before you start, see. can you before you start, Christian? Can you take a question? Sure, of course. Uh, Alan, can you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Okay. It's related to the first question that was asked about when I wanted to add calendar. I didn't see calendar on my list, so somehow or other calendar was not available to me. Is there is there was there a reason why I couldn't find calendar on my list, and you had calendar on your list? That's a surprise to me. I'm gonna let me hit. I'm gonna hit the plus and show you where I think you should see it. It should be right there. I mean, they're yeah. alphabetical. I went from batteries to clock and never had calendar. Well, it's possible that the calendar is not on your phone at all. If the calendar is not there, if the app's been deleted, then you won't see the widget either. So I have to go to the Apple Store and load calendar. Yeah, it sounds like you you may have deleted the calendar. Um, if if I'm wrong about that, then I'm then I'm stuck. But if if you if you don't see the calendar anywhere on your on your phone, then that would explain it. So yeah, you can go back to the App Store and get the calendar again for free. Okay. And then the other even minor question is that when you were showing the weather ones, two of them were blue and one of them was gray. I mean, why was that? Uh, because it's because it's a, a gray day out there in, in Round Rock. That's they're trying to show you visually what the weather looks like, that it's it's gloomy and, and stormy there. And it's okay. sunny. So sunny gets a nice pretty blue. And um, even if it, if it's nighttime, I think it even shows it like almost black with stars. So, so okay, it's, it's like you. this. It's like it's the way the weather widget works. You see, this is looking. You can yeah, see the fog has going. The question right. also. Alan, Alan, thank you. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, Christian. All right. So we're all we're all set. We're ready to roll. Okay. We're ready so, to roll. Okay. So, um, so we know how to make these are widgets that anybody can put on because they are from Apple apps. And uh, as long as you've got those apps installed, you'll see them in the list. Okay. And so there's a lot of flexibility here in how you do this. Um, now, it turns out you can also add widgets for apps that aren't Apple apps. 
and that's that's kind of nice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do one here. Um, I, I have an app called Things, and you can see the icon for Things here on my screen. So here's here's a few things that I need to do. Check this one off. I did it. Um, so I have I have a you know I've got a, a little to do list here. Nothing nothing major. Just 699 things. That's all right. So I want to have a widget that shows me those things. Now you could, if you want to show, say, the reminders widget instead, that's fine too. So, but let's let's add a widget here. I'm going to go to plus, and I'm going to scroll down here. And now my list is showing me. Uh, here's a bunch of Apple apps, but here's um, some other. I don't have too many that that have widgets, but I'll, I want to put things on there. So I'll put I'll put my things over here. Okay, so now I've got a I've got that, and I think my other widget was um, I had a photos widget. So photos widget is really nice. So I'm gonna hit the plus. Let's add a photos widget. So when you when you tap the photos widget, the one that they're they're showing right up front here, when it says for you, this is that for you section in the photos. So uh, if you were in the photos app and you looked at the for you section, these are pictures that. Apple has figured out you might want to see. They're they're either pictures from a year ago today, or they're uh, some other reason that they they think is um, it makes the picture appropriate for you today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pick that, and I'm gonna take um, add a widget. Now you, again, you can make it a bigger widget, but this is this is fine. A little goes a long way here. So I'm gonna um, I'll put this one down here. And I'm gonna put this one up here. There, there we go. Okay, and so you can see the, the the downside of the widgets is that they do take up four times as much room as as a regular icon. But the good news is when you really think about it, the it takes up the space of three things because the fourth one is the widget. The widget itself is triggering an app. So if I if I want to get to photos. Of course, I could tap the photos button here, right? But I don't need to see that because I can also just tap on my big photos widget and that takes me to photos. So that means that I can I can remove the, the photos app and say, I just want to, um, if I say uh, remove the app and they say, yeah, I want to remove it from the home screen. Yeah. So now, it's reducing clutter, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing with things. I don't need to see the things icon either. So I'll just remove that, and I'll remove from home screen again. So anyway, this is a this is a nice way for me to um, to make up for the fact that that each widget takes up four times the space of the icons. When you think about it, it really takes up three, because the fourth one is is sort of buried inside. So just to remind you here, if I touch the calendar widget, that's the full calendar. If I touch the weather widget, that's the full weather app. If I touch my things, it's my full things. And if I touch the photos, it's the full photos. And you see here's in this for you section, I've got these different photos here. So um, so that's, that's fun. So um, this, and the photos one, by the way, this photos one changes every hour. So if you just wait, um, and we, we won't see this change, but but I know later today, I'll see a different picture. And that's fun. So I think putting a photos widget on is a great idea because um, pictures are easy, there's easy to forget about them. And then when they float, when they float up to the surface through the widget, uh, you know, it's, it's, you have a little aha moment, like, oh, that was fun. I remember that. Okay. So, okay, so good. Now. I guess you probably noticed that I, even though I've got my widgets on the home screen, which I like, they, it's also possible for them to be other places too. So you can see some experiments like the one I did earlier today with the, with the clock. Um, it's, it doesn't have to be on the, on the home screen. And by the way, this also doesn't take away the, the work that Apple does on the home screen that's to the left of the first home screen. You can see across the bottom here that I'm on, home screen number one with that with that white dot. But if I push back this way, you can see 
oh, you know what? You don't see them. Oh, I think we stopped sharing. Did it, did it stop sharing? Is it not moving? No, it's still sharing, but it's not moving. Yeah, I see. Okay, how did that happen? Well, I don't know. Swipe, swipe the other way to see if it's working the other way. Not moving. Okay, I've got to. So I got to stop sharing. We'll share it again. I don't know what happened. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these. You know, like I say, it's 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 more it's fun good. to do it live than. Um, Absolutely. You know, it's more fun. Forgot what you look like, so that helps. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, so, so who knows? Okay, good. We're back. And he's back. Okay. So when we look again, just to remind you, down here at the bottom, um, we see we see the dots showing us that we have, in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five, six home screens, and I'm on the first one. But what Apple does and what they've done previous to iOS 14 is they had their own widgets over here. You had to you had to swipe past. So I'm going to swipe from from left to right and pull this over. These widgets were, were there, they've been there for a while, but because you had to go to get them, um, they, it was a little less, little less useful. But the fact is that they're still there. If you, if you want them, they're, they're there. But if, I, if my phone goes to sleep and then it wakes up, it's gonna be right here on the, very, on the screen you're looking at now with all that information right in front of me. I don't have to swipe anything or tap anything and I've, I've got the info. So to me, a huge advantage. Okay, so now Christian? I wanna take, yes. Can you, I, I believe Michael Slider has a question directly related to this. Michael, can you unmute yourself and ask your question? Yes, thank you very much. Christian, if you could slide back to the first screen, the Apple screen and slide all the ways down to the bottom and, and you'll see where it says edit. Yes. Doesn't that give you an opportunity to add more widgets? Uh, it does. It does. But and there's the plus up there at the top, so I could I could add one. Um, no, I didn't mean that. Those there's a it's a different menu item altogether. If you do to go to edit, it lets you add third party uh, apps. Well, you, sure. You, I, well, I go to edit, right? I've gone to edit, and then what would you do next? Um, Customize like this, yeah, and then right, exactly. If you go to the customize, it says more widgets. Yeah, I see. Well, let's just see about this. Um, it's really a, a lot of a lot of widgets here, aren't there? Yeah, that's the point. Okay. Well, why don't we see if we can find one that might be interesting to me? Um, and you notice things is not in that list as an example. Okay, that's a, but that smart is. things are. Yeah, something else. Um, all right, well, let's put in, uh, I'll put in something that's interesting to me. Maybe we'll put in, um, we'll put in Shazam and see what happens here. And so now this is, yeah, so this is my list of, uh, well, things was already there. You see, it's up here at the top. Right. So they, when you have a list like this, what you're getting is, these are widgets that are already there. These are widgets that could be added and if I if I remove things from the top list by by tapping its circle here, it's all it does is jump down to now it's going to be in the in the more widgets allegedly. It'd be, it'd be nice to be right. There it is. So it's so you're just passing it between the top list and the bottom list. Wait, that's that's why that's that's why it's here now. So if I if I go to um, our widgets here, here's my Shazam widget. Um, but if I if I go back and add the things, let's go add things and see. We'll go to edit. We'll go to hit the plus. Well, I see. No, you went to edit and you went down to uh, customize, didn't you? It's what you want to do. So edit. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here. Customize. I'm gonna add. Things at that plus, and now if I go up to the top here, we should see things in this list. I'll just I'm gonna put things uh, right on top of ESPN. Let's see what happens now. So now I'm done, and what do we see? So these are the 
the Apple ones. Here's the clock I added. Here's my things right here, right on top of ESPN. So, um, you know, I have never, never done that even once because this list of widgets was always a little bit of trouble to get to. And so I kind of forgot about them. So I, it wasn't until we got widgets on this screen, on the home screen, that I really got into it. So I, I got to say, I'm not, um, I can't give you any tips about this business over here, but but I can tell you how things get into those different lists. So I think, I think, um, I think this is much more useful to be on the home screen itself. Otherwise, you're, you're not getting the benefit of information at your very first glance, which, the whole, which to me is the whole point. Okay, was there another question a little more about that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yes. I, okay, go ahead, Mitch. It's, it's Mitch. The, those things at the bottom, that list at the bottom where you hit customize, yeah. those can be added to widgets on the widget page, but they cannot be added to other pages like uh, on your on your iPhone. That's the restriction. I see, yeah. That, that's, I think this is what makes the, the ones on the home screen so great is... Um, yeah, the, that's, the, that's the big difference because a lot of mine, like the, the ones that I saw on my want are listed at the bottom and I can put them like where you are right now. Yeah, but I right. can't I can't get them on my, because they're not on the... Uh, add stuff at the top uh, in the approved sort of uh, Apple widgets. You can't drag them over to your home page or other pages. Hmm. It's really interesting because they're they're both called widgets, but they it's almost like there's two sort of two different things going on here. Well, all right. I guess that's the way it is. So yeah, I, wanted, yeah, I just uh, wanted to mention that. All that right, I, thank you, thank you, Mitch. Okay. okay. Was there another right, one, Sheila? Uh, there are several. Um, oh so this is what I want to ask you. Do you want to try to finish your presentation and then ask questions? Or do you want to ask questions now? Because you have at least four questions. Okay. And we have about 20 minutes to go. Is that right? L slightly less than 20 minutes. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll take one. Spin the wheel and give me one question. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bill Nice, can you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Chris, <clears throat> Christian, yes. I would like to see the weather presentation that you have up here for Round oh. Rock, but I would like to now go to the second one and see just the radar without having to go through it all. Is there any way we can do that? Uh, so you, you want it to not just show you the... Uh, the... Well, it's all kinds of advertisements and little stories and everything with the weather. And I like the two things I want is this page for Round Rock, and then I want to see the radar. I see. So you would have to go here and then find the. I'm not even sure where the radar information is. Is it, well, is it within the weather app? It's in the weather app, and you just go down quite a ways through it before you get to it. And I, I just was curious if there is a way to. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know, but um, you uh, lock in the uh, radar, so that's the first one you would see. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I don't really know enough about the weather app. I'm just happy to know the temperature, so I guess I, I'm showing my ignorance there. Um, I'm going to keep going because I want to okay. show you one other really important feature, which is see all the stuff we've got here, um, with the exception of my my things app, which is a, just a fancy to-do list. Uh, everything that I've shown you is, is built in and you already have these apps and you already have these widgets. And you could easily substitute the reminders widget for my things widget and have your own to-do list there. So all of this was standard and stock. But if you add a widget, uh, an app called Widget Smith, I'll see if I can find Widget Smith for you. Um, it's just a, it's a simple little thing. It, okay, th this is what Widget Smith looks like. It looks like a, a, um, a blue, a, a blue rounded corner square. So when you when you touch Widget Smith, you get, you get this app that that has 
uh, it helps you to make widgets, all right? So the, the, the idea is that you can make your own widgets and then you can uh, add those widgets to your home screen, just like any other widget that a developer had made in his app. So the one thing I really wanted was the, a big uh, digital time. And so I made one, and I'm, but I'm going to I'm gonna make another one here. So let's, let me start um, by launching um, Widget Smith. I'm gonna put Widget Smith on the uh, home screen here so you can see. So here's, here's the Widget Smith app. I'm gonna touch Widget Smith. By coincidence, they're using blue. Seems like a great color. So I'm going to I'm going to tap Widget Smith and we we get into this app and so what we're going to do is we're we're able to make widgets in various sizes and I'm going to make a medium widget and you can see I've already made one the one the one that I called Big Green Time but I'm going to add one I'm going to call it uh, Big Big Yellow Time right I'm going to I'm going to make a yellow one so when I touch Add Medium Widget they um i'll do that in slow motion here we'll add i just i was too fast okay add a medium widget the widget is just there it's just sitting there and it's it's called medium number three if i added another one it's going to be medium number four and you see here i go so I'm, now if i want to get rid of one of these so we're basically i'm building up a collection of widgets but of course they all look pretty much the same so i'm going to get rid of number four and i'm going to edit this one that's called medium number three. And we're going to make this my own clock that's nice and big. And in this case, it's going to be yellow. So I'm going to, I'm going to touch it. And now I get to edit this thing. So what are we going to do here? Well, we get to, um, right off the bat, they're saying it's a you know, default widget. Well, I'm going, to, um, I'm going to touch that. OK, so I, what I did is I simply touched here on this widget. And I'm going to make it look the way I want it to look. So my widget, it, they're all going to be wide. It's going to, have to be this sort of license plate size thing or sort of formatted thing. But I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to find us a nice date and time. And I like this one that shows me the time. That's big. So I'm going to take that. So I, so I tap that. And now that I've done it, the, we get some choices down at the bottom. And besides being able to choose like a time zone, we can also choose the aesthetic, whoops, sorry, I just, I just hid my screen for myself. We can choose the aesthetic here, which is basically, how does it look? So, so I'm gonna choose that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch, and now we have some canned ideas that they like. I mean, if you really wanted it to look like candy canes, I could just touch candy cane here and it would it would look like that. But <clears throat> it's not what I'm after here. I'm, I'm after customization here. So, so I'm going to um, scroll through here. If I find one that I sort of like, this neon one's really close. So I'm gonna touch, I'm gonna touch this one, this is neon. And you know, most of the time with Widget Smith, what you're doing is you're just enjoying the widget that you made. On occasion, like when you want to make the widget, you have to do the work we're doing now. So I've I've made this this um, widget. Uh, it's going to show me the, the time, digital numbers, and it's going to be yellow. And what I'm going to do though is I'm going to make one little change to it. I'm going to touch where it says customize down at the bottom, and I'm going to change the the shade slightly here. So let's I'm going to say let's um, I can change the font. But I'm going to change the tint. So I'll, I'll um, see if I can find, uh, I've picked yellow, but I'm going to make it um, my own yellow if I can do it. Uh, well, actually, I, you know what, I can't do that, but I can, but I'll, I'll pick, I'm still going to make it be yellow, but I could pick a different font and that kind of thing. So I've, so I've got my yellow thing and now I'm going to go back here and, and it's still like it's a crummy name right medium three up here so i'll never i'll never recognize this in a list if it's called medium three so i'm going to do what they say i'm going to tap to rename so i'm going to call this um 
I'm gonna call this a big yellow clock. That's not how you spell that. Okay. Okay. Uh, clock, not click. Okay. So I've, so now, in my collection of widgets, I have a um, I have a medium one that's called medium number one, which is a a calendar. I, I don't need that. Uh, a big green time, which I like, and a big yellow clock. There are other widgets down here. I could add a large widget. Actually, I'm at ninety-five percent. Sorry, that was my iPad talking. Um, I could I could add a big one or a small one, but I've done what I want to do. So now, um, you know, you don't see any. There's no effect here. What did I do? Nothing yet. But now, when I go to add a widget, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna click the plus up at the top, and when I scroll through here, the widget I'm gonna choose is a widget smith widget so down here at the bottom here's widget smith now this is this is a, a little bit strange so in this case what you had to do is you have to kind of create the widget first then you come in here and you say which size was it well it was a medium widget i remember that okay so so when we add this i didn't get the yellow one because they just picked one but if i if i touch the widget i can now edit the widget and I said, no, give me the yellow one. Okay, so now, now I'm done. Now I've got, um, now I have my big yellow widget up here. So if I, if I tire of that, I can touch it, hold it, edit the widget and pick another one that's of that same size, the medium size. If I put in this one, it's gonna be the one that they like but I'm going to touch it, hold it, edit the widget, and finally I'm going to put in the one that I like, my big green one that I worked so hard on. So now I've put my, my phone back to normal here, and someone asked earlier about the names, and you can see this has to show the name Widgetsmith. This is a requirement from Apple to show the name of the app that's associated with the widget. So you see you see these all the way here. So um, now there's one other thing that's really cool about this. This is, this is the last part I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to do questions. So if I look at this, um, let's, let's go to Widget Smith again, and I'm going to edit this widget, my big green time. You see at the bottom, you have this thing that says add a timed widget. And the key is that the, that you get to say when things change. So I'm going to say at, at 11 o'clock, I want the time not to say 11, 11 p.m. I want to say bedtime to remind me that it's, okay, it's getting late. So I'm going to add where it says add a timed widget. I'm going to do that. So if we look here, we see this, this kind of sweeping around uh, Thing here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go around to here and say, look, at, at 11 o'clock, between 11 and 12, most of the time it's gonna be most of the time it's gonna show me the, the the real time, which is showing me here in the middle. That's that's what the widget does. But between 11 and 12, I'm gonna have it do something else. And this is so. What I do is I tap up there. I'm gonna tap here. And when I do. I'm going to add a different widget there. So I'm going to scroll through here and I'm going to see, I'm going to find something that, that does what I want it to do. Um, I can put in any words I want. I'm just going to put in uh, where it says, I'll, I'll do this one that says um, custom text right here. Okay. So, so if I tap that, I get to, to, um, to fill that in and I'm gonna, where it says text at the bottom and says your text here, we're gonna tap that, we're gonna change that. So now in here, I'm gonna put in um, bedtime, all right? And see if that will do the trick for me, we'll see. And so what it means is that at, at 11 p.m., instead of showing me the clock, it's going to just say the word bedtime in that same space right up here. This will magically change to say bedtime. Now it's, it's kind of a, I mean, that's, that's 
maybe a little on the silly side, but you can imagine if you had things that you're supposed to do, like let's say, say you're supposed to take a pill, like my, my friend Tom's supposed to take a pill at 2, 2 p.m. He could, he could have it changed to say, take your pill at 2 p.m. And actually you can show the clock and have your words in it. So um, this is sort of like the smart rotating that Apple does with the stacks, but this one doesn't have to be that, that the phone is smart. You get to be smart and you tell it when you want things to rotate. And so that's, um, that's a pretty useful thing. And you could, you could have, you know, more than one uh, changeover. I mean, it could, it could be, you know, take your pill at 2 PM. It could be go to bed at 11 PM. It could be, um, you know, whatever else you're supposed to do at certain times. So that could be sort of fun. I mean, I know you can set alarms other ways, but if it's if it's big and right in your face, it might be just the thing. Okay, that's that is uh, I've covered what I wanted to cover. So um, I'll take questions if we still have time. Okay, we have about uh, nine minutes. Uh, Don Peacock, can you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Hi, Christian. Nice presentation. Thanks. When you deleted things from the home screen because you put it on a widget, where does it go and does it come back if you delete the widget? Yeah, where it is, if I scroll through here, you know, I got rid of a bunch of them there. Once you go past the last screen, you have this app library. So you can see here's some of our, our old friends here. Here's our calendar, which I deleted. Um, Here's things which I deleted. Uh, I forget what else we deleted, but of uh, photos. So, yeah, so they're here. They're still here in the app library. So you, and then you can, if you care to, suppose I want to have the calendar back on my screen anyway, I can touch it, wiggle it, and add it to the home screen. It'll just go, go flying back. Thank you. Not what I want to do because as you can see it, it messed up my. Uh, yeah, but thanks. So the, the key is to just remove it from the home screen like this. Okay. But so this is this is my actual phone. This is how I do it. This is this so to me I see all this information without touching anything. Just if the phone's on, I see it. And that's that's awesome for me. Okay. Uh Gerald Kifford, can you please unmute yourself and ask your question? Go ahead, Gerald. Gerald. I see you've unmuted yourself, Gerald, but we do not hear you. Hmm. Gerald. Okay, Mitch, can you go ahead and ask your question? I'm sorry, I don't have a question. Okay, uh, Kenneth Falls, can you unmute yourself and ask your question? Yeah, hi. Quick question. I no longer have any home screens. I took everything out and just use the uh, the app library. So nice. when I want to look at these widgets, I have to go over further to the left. Is that correct? There's no other way to have them just pop up when I first turn on my phone. Oh, I see. So you have no home screen at all. All you have is the app library. That's correct. Wow. Well, um, maybe you could. So then you so you when you turn your phone on, you see the app library. You don't see, you don't see the widgets that Apple gives you. you. You go straight to your app library. Well, when I turn my phone on first, I just have a picture there. Uh, it just says the date and the time. And if I go to the left, I see my widgets. And if I go to the right, I see my library. I think what I would do is, is maybe add, add back one app to the home screen and then you can make your uh, you can make your um, your widgets on that screen, and then you can delete that app. And I think you, you still have them. I, I mean, maybe you still have a dock with apps in it, like this down at the bottom. Uh, let me look. Hang on a second. No. Wow. No. Well, that's pretty minimal. Um, I. And if you want, if you want to be able to see things when you first turn this, the phone on, then I think you're going to have to have one home screen. So 
Uh, but if you fill it up with with widgets, it'll be awesome. Right, so that's, that's okay. I understand what you're saying. That's fine. That'll that'll okay. that'll do what I want. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Sophia's question is: Does the calendar widget keep all the information from the past, like the calendar app? Well, no. That what this shows it's a good, that's a great question. What this is showing you is is technically it's called what's next. So when I go to when I go to add the widget, if we look at the calendar, um, you see it says up next. So it's always scrolled to the um, to today, and it shows you what's coming up. Like here. Uh, our appointment has, has happened, so I no longer see you, I see Esteban. So, so that's what it's doing. So it doesn't really, um, it doesn't contain the calendar. It just, it just shows you the, um, what it shows you is the, uh, uh, the upcoming events and the, the very latest upcoming event. You can't fit too many on here. And this isn't even scrollable, but if I touch it, it takes me to the full calendar. So it's a, it's, the answer is sort of yes, because when I do this, this is the full, the full calendar, right? This is all the way back to, you know, as far back as you want to go. Okay, so I hope that answers that. Okay. Uh, there are two questions uh, about things, the apps, things, and mm -hmm. Widget Smith. Are they both available in the App Store? Yes, so things is things is oh things is is um, a little pricier. There's a uh, there's things for the iPhone, things for the Mac, and things for the iPad. And you know, it's it's I can't wholeheartedly say this is the greatest to do list ever. I think the greatest to do list ever has probably never been made. It's you know it, this is a good to do list. Reminders is also good. But yes, they're, they're, these are App Store apps. Now, Widget Smith is free. This is a, I'm so glad someone asked this because I really dropped the ball here. Widget Smith is free. All the things I showed you today with Widget Smith were free. But you do have to go get the app. If you pay, you pay a little bit, and you can get extra features in in Widget Smith. You might have seen some things. Some of the themes had locks on them. Those are things that you can't do for free. But the, um, it turns out the developer's name is, uh, I think it's David Smith, which it's Smith. And he's committed to making it mostly free. So, um, so you, you should definitely get that. Do you have to create any type of account for which Smith? No, no, you do not. You simply get the app from the, uh, the app store and you, you do what I showed you today. And if, if not, you can do a little there's a little uh, tutorial on the on the Widget Smith web page. Um, as it turns out, that there's also I have two tutorials on my web page about widgets. I've got um, a video about how to make a widget at all, and then a, a video about some more advanced widget things. I don't have a video about Widget Smith, but um, anyway, if you go to my website, you can watch the video and you can basically see what I did today again in slow motion. You watch it backward if you want. <laughs> yeah, well, plus okay. we're making a video of the meeting today, so you'll have that. Okay, good. Uh, okay, there is one more question. I don't know if it applies to what you're doing today, but maybe you tell me. Uh, is there anything that you can add about Siri suggestions? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's nice. So your suggestions, I, I left off a few things. Of course, you can't, you can't talk about everything all, you know, all at once. But so when you look at the widgets here, I'm going to add a widget and you see Siri suggestions. So what's happening here is, um, you know, Siri is more than just you talking to the phone and having it do things. Siri is sort of intelligence that's built into the phone and built into the system. And one of the things it's doing is it's trying to, to uh, guess what it is that's important to you at the time. So Siri here has guessed that the things that matter to me are these apps, which I use a lot. And so here's, they, they've seen, I do use the weather a lot. I use things a lot, the calendar, photos. 
settings, widget smith, shortcuts, and this is one from uh, Google Ads, which which um, supports some of my website stuff. So these are apps I'm in the most, and so Siri has guessed that I might want to add that as a widget itself. So if I if I tap that and I add this widget, you see it comes in different sizes here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pick these are shortcuts that that I might have. Uh, either I made or I you know, um, imported, but I'm just, if I pick this one, this app suggestions, what happens now is these are, these are apps that, that the phone thinks I'm gonna want these apps, but see, this is gonna change over time. If I start using uh, the ESPN app a lot, it's gonna float itself up into this list. So that's sort of interesting. Now, the, the reason I don't do that is because even if it's not there, I can always pull down and in this list, here's my series suggestions. You see, I mean, you probably have done this before when you're on any home screen, you pull down and you get series suggestions. So I'm just so used to doing that, that I don't need to see it right here in front of me. I can have a little neater affair. So I'm going to remove that widget, but it, but even, even without it, I can still, if I simply swipe down, here's my series suggestions right there. So I, that's why I don't have it there, but it is, uh, that's what it does, is it guesses what should be there. In the same way that this guesses, you know, what's, what's the right app to use. Uh, this morning when I pulled down, it, it showed me an app called Weight Guru, because every day, I, first thing I do is I go weigh myself. And I have to use the Weight Guru app to get the scale to shoot it into the phone. So, in so first thing in the morning, one of these icons would be replaced with with the uh, Weight Guru app. And so you, everybody's would be different based on your use. But I, that's why I don't have it there is because I can always pull it. I can always pull down, and there's my series suggestions right there. So that's that's uh, hopefully that's your answer. All right. Great, thank you. Uh, it is twelve forty-eight. Uh, George, do you want to uh, come in? Yes, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Kristen. We really enjoyed it. And um, <clears throat> do we have any? Do we want to um, open up the uh, the mic so everybody can uh, say thank you? Yeah, unmute yourself, please, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christian. And everybody stay well. And we'll see you on Saturday uh, for the class on photos. Okay. Thank you. See y'all. Okay, good. See you next time. Thank you. Thanks, Sheila. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Thank you. Bye, George. Thank Thanks. Thanks so much.